In this video I'm going to demonstrate the method of integrating factors to solve ordinary differential equations. So this is my equation that I'm going to solve. This is the general form that we're looking at. So we have a first derivative, so a first order differential equation, and a linear factor of the variable y, so some function of x equals to some other function of x. Remember p of x and q of x could be constants or they could be functions involving x. Now the technique is to find an integrating factor which is always the form e to the power of integral p of x dx. We multiply through by the integrating factor. So in this case here, the negative 2 is p of x. Our integrating factor in this case would be e to the integral of negative 2 dx. Integral of negative 2 is negative 2x. This is our integrating factor. We'll multiply all terms by the integrating factor. So I have dy dx by e to the power negative 2x minus 2y by e to the negative 2x equals x times e to the negative 2x all terms have been multiplied. The advantage of this is that what we're looking at here is actually a product rule type of a derivative. We can work this backwards and express this as the derivative of y multiplied by the integrating factor. If you think about that for a minute, the derivative of a product is the derivative of this term, dy dx, multiplied by the second term, and then we add on the derivative of this term, which would be negative 2 times e to the negative 2x, multiplied by y, which is what we have there. And that still equals x by e to the negative 2x. Now, separate the variables. So, performing the integral of both sides, the integral of d these things is y times e to the negative 2x. Now, for the integral of this one, we have a product. So, I'm going to have to integrate by parts. I'll remind everyone that the integral of u dv equals u times v minus the integral of v du. So looking at this expression here, I'm going to say that u equals x and dv equals e to the negative 2x dx. The derivative du over dx would equal 1. This leads directly to du equals dx. For this one, I'll need to integrate. The integral of this is v. The integral of e to the negative 2x is e to the negative 2x over negative 2. Now that I've got all of these pieces worked out, I can apply this rule. This part here represents the integral of u times dv. So all of this bit will be replaced with u times v u times v is x times this, x times e to the negative 2x over negative 2, minus the integral of v du, e to the negative 2x over negative 2, and remember du is the same as dx. Just going to skip down the page a bit to where there's some more room. So y times e to the negative 2x equals x e to the negative 2x over negative 2 minus, I'll rewrite this for neatness, e to the negative 2x over negative 2 dx. So we have a much easier integral here. i 
I'll move the constant of negative 2 to the front here, so it'll be plus 1 over 2 by the integral of e to the negative 2x dx. So I'll have here e to the negative 2x, and by the time I divide this it'll be negative 4 plus a constant of integration. Remember this was all e to the y times e to the negative 2x. So I could divide by e to the negative 2x. And I'm left with my general solution y equals x over negative 2 plus 1 over well, our negative 1 over 4 plus c now, dividing by this would be the same as e to the positive 2x. And that's how we use an integrating factor to do an ordinary differential equation.